I'm here with Daniel Pence, the General Registrar for the City of Lynchburg. Mr. Pence, can you tell us how early voting is going so far in the City of Lynchburg? It's been pretty busy. We've got about uh, 2,200 uh, voters are coming in early, early voting at this point. And that's uh, kind of ahead of where we were back in 2022. That's expected because this is a general election that's uh, presidential and you always have more interest in the presidential. Um, but uh, it's been pretty busy. We've had a 300, um, on the order of about 300 voters a day come in. Okay. From an election officer or poll worker standpoint, is the registrar's office ready for election day on November 5th? So we have 245 uh, election officers appointed in this round. Um, that's, I would say, maybe a third again beyond what we've had in the uh, last two elections. Last two elections were a little slower than we expect this one to be, so it didn't need as many officers. But uh, that should give us enough officers to really have a uh, full complement of people at the poll books and uh, helping voters to get, uh, get checked in and get their ballots counted. My final question is something that uh, some people may not know about. Can you explain what same-day voter registration is in the state of Virginia? Sure. A voter registration deadline is uh, October 15th for this election. And so anyone who is registered with a regular registration by October 15th can vote in the election. If you're not registered by that point, um, you would not be able to vote in the election unless you follow the same-day registration process. Same day registration process means that you uh, fill out a registration form that's on a provisional envelope and then your ballot gets put into the provisional envelope. Uh, it does not get put into a scanner right away, it gets put in the provisional envelope and then the electoral board uh, adjudicates each provisional envelope in Canvas after the election and they take all the ballots that are, are from the provisional envelope that they've adjudicated are to be counted and then those get counted and added to the tally after the election. And uh, if a voter is, you know, found to have not been a legitimate voter in the same day, you know, process um, and the board, you know, realized that they either voted somewhere else or had some other issue, then those ballots uh, get pulled out and they don't get counted. Okay. Thank you.